Hey there, uh, Art here. Just uh, wanted to show this little project that I did. Um, these were the speakers slash light covers that came with the uh, with the motorhome. I think all all of the GMC motorhomes had those. Um, and I liked the way it looked. Basically, it just looked kind of cheap, um, but functionally it worked very well. So what I came up with here is made out of. Uh, maple and uh, same as the factory as I just drilled a bunch of holes. These are 3 8 holes on, a, on an offset grid. Um, and in the back here you can see what I did essentially was uh, I've got the, the light which isn't original that's the uh, that's the one that the previous owner had purchased somewhere or other. I, I kinda like the way it looked except I didn't like the fact that it was clear so I painted it white um, just use uh, a light coat of paint, hopefully it'll hold. Um, and then I found these on Amazon. Uh, they're just cute little uh, reading lights. So, uh, yeah, like that. And each one works independently. So, okay. Um, I wired this differently. Frankly, I don't even know how the factory wiring worked because the switches on my motorhome were... I don't know, they were messed up. So I came up with this, which is basically an on-on, um, single pole, double throw, on-on switch, which is effectively just like your three-way switch in your home. And I wired it between the two. Uh, when I actually install it, it'll have a, a long jumper with these five wires. But essentially you turn one on, and they both come on, and you turn, you know, so if you're in the driver's seat and you want to turn on both lights to see what's going on in the world, you can turn one on and the both lights will come on uh, or turn one off. So, yeah, that's how it goes. Um, and then on the back, uh, really what I did is I routed out uh, holes for the speakers. Um, these are some aftermarket decent little four, but they're only four inch speakers, so what are you going to get, right? But uh, anyway, I did the wiring as cleanly as I could as I could manage it, and then I just have to pull this new set of wires because I don't trust the old factory wires; they're too old. So I'll pull this new set of wires, and I need to run uh, positive and negative to this setup. That's okay. I'm rewiring the whole coach anyway. So yeah, that's this little project. Thanks for watching.